Okay guys, this recipe is a no-bake strawberry cheesecake cups. And I'm going to show you what the ingredients are here. We have four cups. These I am using are five and a half inch cups. You can use six inch cups also. Uh, the first ingredient is actually a half a cup of chopped strawberries, finely chopped. And we're gonna add to that two tablespoons of sugar. And here I've added into this bag, it's a gallon size bag, one pack of graham crackers, and we're going to crush that up. And here we have two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Also, we have in this bowl four ounces of cream cheese, and we have one fourth cup of sugar and then a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Also, what you do not see here, because this is a whipped cream, is you're going to be using a half a cup of whipped cream, and you're going to add to that uh, whipped cream uh, about Let's see, I think it's a half a cup of sugar because I've already made up this whipped cream. And there's gonna be a video at the end of this one to show you how to make the homemade whipped cream, the homemade whipped topping. Now, Larry does not like Cool Whip whipped topping, any of the store-bought whipped toppings, but he actually tasted the homemade uh, whipped topping, this whipped cream right here, and he loves it. So you can use the store-bought, uh, the store-bought. It's uh, quick and... Um, but I have to tell you, this is so much better. It's just so much better to use the homemade. And you, again, you will see the recipe at the end of the video that shows you how to make the homemade whipped topping. Now, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take this bag of crackers along with this melted butter, and I'm going to show you how to simply mix this up and grind it up together. So stay tuned. All right, the next step here, as I said, is the graham crackers. What you want to do, kind of break them down a little bit. crush them up just a little bit and then I have here my rolling pin now try to remember that you can use your blender I have a ninja bullet or your food processor anything like that you can use any of those to uh, crush your crackers up of course that would be a lot faster but for those who don't have a blender who may not have a food processor. A uh, rolling pin will do just as good. And if you don't have a rolling pin, you can actually use a glass jar to roll back and forth. Now, I'm going to continue rolling this. It only takes doing this only about a couple of minutes at the most. So I'm going to finish rolling this up and I'll come back and show you how to assemble these delicious strawberry cheesecake cups. Okay guys, that took me less than two minutes to do. So, before I assemble them, I wanna show you the next step. And that is to put your graham crackers, put your bowl, pour out your graham crackers, and then you're just gonna take that two tablespoons of butter, add that into your graham cracker crust, and just kinda of mix that up. That's only gonna take you less than a minute too. You just want to kind of coat all the crumbs in the butter. So that'll take about a minute. And that's all we're going to do here is coat those crumbs nicely in the butter. Very simple. Okay, we'll be moving on to the next step. Okay, uh, first before I start showing you how to put those cups together, this right here, I forgot that it was... Uh, more than a half a pack and I normally put two tablespoons of unsalted butter but I had to add two more tablespoons so you actually four tablespoons if you're going to use the whole pack now the first thing we want to do is put this a little closer because I tend to drop stuff and you just want to drop in evenly which is equal to me when I measured it out before when I made this was about two tablespoons in each cup And that's why I'm heaping the teaspoon up to get the two cups or get the two tablespoons. Okay, I've got an extra cup here to try and uh, pack that down a little bit. And that's all you need. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is add in to your strawberries, your sugar. You don't wanna crush the, sh the strawberries, you just wanna mix that up 
very, very well. And it's, the strawberries are kind of uh, wet because I used frozen. You can use frozen strawberries or you can use fresh. It doesn't matter. But you want to mix this up well enough so that the sugar is dissolved or almost dissolved. It will continue to dissolve as it sits, but we want to stir that up. And that'll take you about a minute to get that nice and stirred up. See how that's coming together? How that sugar's dissolving? So you just want to get that stirred up so you can get most of that sugar dissolved away. Okay, now the next thing you're going to do, you're going to put a little, probably about a teaspoon layer into your cup on top of your graham crackers. Okay, that's pretty good. So you just take a few strawberries. And we'll spread those out a little bit. And you want to put some there. You want to kind of get it evenly. And you want enough for leftover so you can do it one more time, one more layer with your strawberries. So we put our strawberries in there. And layer that out. Okay. Now the next thing we're gonna do is actually take your cream cheese, mix it with your homemade whipped topping, or of course you can use the store-bought also. So we're gonna mix the whipped cream, the cream cheese, and the vanilla and sugar. And I'll go and mix that, and then I'll let you see what that looks like. Okay, we're going to add our whipped cream that I've already placed in the bowl. That's our whipped topping along with the cream cheese and we're going to add in the sugar and then our half a, te half a teaspoon of uh, vanilla flavoring and you just mix that up. It's really simple, really quick. You just want to get it where your sugar is combined. You want to remember to stop halfway through so you can get all of the sides in there so you can get it completely incorporated, all the ingredients. Okay, and at this point, you've got your whipped topping already in there, and you put that with the cream cheese, and then you just mix it up maybe about 30 seconds because I'm using the blender, or you can actually fold it in and stir it up with your spoon if you like. But that's all that's left to do with this, and um, I'm going to finish up maybe about 10 more seconds, and then I'm going to show you how to put the uh, cups together. Now we're going to finish combining these, making these cups here. We put on the bottom crackers and then we've got strawberries on top of that. And now we're gonna do cream cheese. Now, you can actually take and spoon cream cheese into the cups or this is my cake decorator. And this piping, it's just kind of thin. It's not a big, um, a big one, but you can just put it in there with this. Get you quite a bit. And then we're going to scoop some more strawberries on top of each one. As you can see there, I was about to put it on the other ones, but I haven't actually added the 
uh, topping on that. And then to finish this off, you're actually going to sprinkle a topping of your graham crackers right on top. And you will have extra graham crackers. I see that. And then you can top that off with a nice strawberry. And there you have it. If you'd like a little whipped cream on top, oh, that's empty. So we're just going to use our spoon to put our dollop of whipped cream on top of that one and a dollop of whipped cream. And of course, that whipped cream has cream cheese in it. And there you go, guys. That and it tastes amazing. It's all set and ready to go. And I'm going to have to actually taste test this for you because it is so good. I love these recipes. And I know that your grandchildren or your children will really love them. I can't keep them in the house during the holidays. Mmm. I love cream cheese, as most of you know. And this is delicious. Mmm. So delicious. Thank you. Okay guys, this is video number two, and this is holiday quick dessert or anytime quick dessert. These are, what I'm making here today is called no bake Oreo cream cheese cups. They're very simple and it's quick to make. Now in this cup right here, I have a half a cup of ground crushed Oreo cookies. And in this cup also a half a cup of ground Oreo cookies. I'll leave the recipe down below. Uh, the two combined is about 10 cookies. 10 Oreo cookies. Okay, um, we have here whipped topping. Now you can buy the store-bought whipped topping or you can make your own whipped topping. Um, this is my homemade whipped topping and um, we have the cream cheese here. Also over here you have four five ounce cups. You can use, uh, this is five and a half ounce cups I mean. You can use a six ounce cup but I wouldn't try to go a little any bigger than that. Also we have here Four Oreo cookies that I saved out that we're going to put in each one of the cups when we're done. This is just going to be the top of it. All right. And right here, uh, you can actually use a spoon to spoon in your cream cheese uh, topping or you can use, this is my cake decorated. I'm using this um, particular uh, top. It doesn't have a, a very big opening, but it's, it's a, uh, easier to put it in there. It's a lot simpler to get it into the cup. And I usually make such a big mess. So I'm using this today. But first of all, what we're going to do is put together the cream cheese and the whipped topping. And we're going to blend that up. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, guys, uh, I brought over here also that other half a cup of Oreos because we're going to mix that in there too. So we're just going to put your cream cheese in the bowl. And remember, the cream cheese is supposed to be room temperature softened. So we don't want it to be right out of the refrigerator. It'll be too hard. It won't mix very well. Okay. And the next we're just going to mix this up first. want to basically try and get all the lumps out of it, the cream cheese lumps. Okay, you don't have to do it too long because you have your cookies over here and that's going to give you a little more time to uh, blend it up. And you can keep the speed down on low. It doesn't have to be on high or anything. And I want to take the time halfway through, I guess. Call it halfway through. And take the sides off. And put it into that middle mix so that you can get it all incorporated together. 
Okay. And this just only takes a minute because it incorporates really fast. Okay, it's just that simple. Okay, I'm gonna put this over on the other side and then I'm gonna show you how to put these together. Okay, now let's assemble these Oreo cream cheese cups. Uh, we're going to put, start with here. You wanna put a, about two tablespoons in there. We're just gonna do two on camera. And I will do the, the rest when we're done. Put a little bit more in there. Okay, now we're going to add the cream cheese and Oreo cookie and whipped cream mix. We want to put maybe a couple in there. We'll see. Because you want to fill that right up. And initially I said at the beginning when I gave you my ingredients that I was going to use my cake maker, my cake decorating tool, but the cookies won't let it go through. So we're just going to spoon it in there, which is another option. And you want to get quite a bit in there because you want to fill it up high enough so you have a good amount in there. And again, like I said, this is real simple, something your kids or your grandkids would enjoy doing. That doesn't want to come off. Okay. Now, what you do here, you want to sprinkle some Oreos on top. And then, to top that off, isn't that cute? Now, who doesn't love a good Oreo cup? My kids love Oreo cups and they love cream cheese in their Oreo cups. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And remember, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Thank you, guys, and happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas.